السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ڈیئر فرینڈز وی آر مسلم اینڈ وی ہیو ٹو لک دیٹ دا تھنگز دیٹ کین میک آور بلیف آور ایمان اینڈ آور ڈیڈز اوے فرام دا باؤنڈری آف اسلام سو وی ہیو ٹو کیپ آور سیلف اوے فرام دیم that is the special need for every muslim first of all the main thing is the fear of allah so if a person who has fear of allah in his heart so then is no problem because whenever and wherever any problem start or idea comes in the mind to do some evil practice or bad thing so the fear of allah saves a person from doing evil practice so the people who are fearless of allah so those people they will be punished at the day of judgment because this fearless from allah it makes a person to do evil practices and bad things so we must have fear of allah because allah's khauf a fear it saves a person from all types of evils bad activities bad friends even mixing with the people who are away from the boundary of piety so the main thing is fear of allah that is the first thing for the muslims they must be frightened from allah so then they will be good people in the society so <clears throat> then the other thing is uh, like the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, said that uh, a person should not be liar everyone who is the muslim must speak the truth because lying is the mother of the evil practices so we must be truthful in every sphere of life so because truth is the light and lying is the darkness and people who lie they are in the group of devils but the people who are true people they are in the group of the pious people the noble people the best people of the world and you must keep in mind that truth give you reward but maybe sometime the reward comes to you later it takes time so you must observe the patience don't feel that the reward will come to you so quick but it takes a time because it depends on allah then the other thing very important for us <clears throat> because when we are sitting in the society of our friends and then we talk a lot sometimes jokes and jokes you know we have to look when we are doing jokes are we going outside the boundary of islam when we are abusing other people when we are uh, making faces of faces to others or when we are cursing others or abusing others 
or bullying others. So it means we are going outside the boundary of Islam. So we are sinful people that time. So keep in mind, you are going in the darkness. So this way, <clears throat> any any person who persuades you, who make your mind to do the evil practice, he is shaitan. So keep away from that one. So we should not hate anyone. We should love everyone. But we must keep in mind that the others, if they are producing hatred in us, we must be away from them. Because the purity always, always in this world gets rewards. So we have to be pure and nice people, people, sincere people for everyone. So the other thing is very important. <coughs> we should when we are before the media social media so we should not send any type of message that can create sexual activities or some jokes which are outside the boundary of islam or some type of thing which is like game or some other thing which can waste the time of others so then we will be doing the evil practice and that will be multiplied so many times how many people they look that one how many people they do that one so the evil practice what they will do so because we if we are sending the message of that one to the people so those people who will act upon that so these the evil of those people will be multiplied towards us because if we are sending that one so we must be careful that one that we have to keep ourselves away from wasting time so you <clears throat> you should not waste the time playing games because time is very costly precious time for you because Allah gave this time and we will be answerable at the day of judgment that how we spend our life, the time which was given to us, we have to answer before Allah at the day of judgment. So we must spend every moment like in a nice way. We must learn something good like we first of all, we must know Holy Quran and Sunnah of Prophet Sallallahu We must learn Holy Quran completely, fully and with meaning, translation, understanding complete and then we have to read the uh, seerah, the uh, Prophet Sallallahu the Prophet, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam whole of his seerah, his character from his birth up to the uh, when he left this world uh, we have to learn each every activity of Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam how he behaved with others, how he was walking, talking, how he was working in this world uh, so everything we must follow that one in order to be a successful good Muslim and because Allah likes that one so this way if we want to be a favorite before Allah so we must follow Holy Prophet ﷺ completely and fully and any person who is uh, inviting us to to do something good so we should respect that person also and we should follow that one but if a person who is inviting us to do some bad work or wrong thing or evil practice, we must be careful from that person and away from that person. Because some people, <clears throat> they produce dispute and disturbance in the society. And those are trouble people and we must be away from them. <clears throat> Similarly, so we have to look the idea that idea comes in our mind we have to look idea if the idea is good positive that will produce a good thing in the society we must do that one and uh, but but we have to look is it equal is it according to sharia of, of islam if that is under the sharia of islam we should follow it and do it but if something is against islam and we should not do it 
even if it if even if it is giving us so much benefit we are not to do that one we must keep our tongue away from backbiting lying um, abusing and uh, and some uh, other activities which are blaming the people and and uh, like disturbing the people so we must keep our tongue away from all those type of things which can halt the people also and we should uh, <coughs> keep our hands away from the people we should not use our hand to to halt other people so this way the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the muslim al muslim man salim al muslimun min lisanihi wa yadihi a muslim is that person who makes safe other muslims like with the tongue and with the hands so we must we must save other people with our tongue and with our hands we should not say anything wrong from our tongue to other people and don't tease them also and don't use the hands to disturb other people so we have to keep our tongue and hands safe to make the society as a whole peaceful nice good this way so if we find uh, any anything or any person who is oppressor or doing bad thing or terrorism or bad work or disturbing situation we must inform the uh, police or we must inform the 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 authority which is uh, regarding to that one so because if someone is uh, creating a disturbance within the society so that person is not good for for the society so we must inform so the law must be active against that one and that must be treated under the court of law so that is very important for us also so this way <clears throat> we must use our legs to walk like we have to walk to the place which is good which is rewardable and nice so like we can go to the mosque to pray also we should uh, learn some good things we should get education we go there we should get the things from outside like market something like but we are not to go to do bad things sinful things or anything which is bad for us for society so we have to keep ourselves away from that don't go there and don't make the friends that will take you to the places which are bad so we should not move towards the uh, pub because being a muslim alcohol is haram for us not go to the pub not go to the uh, betting shop not go to uh, any place which is uh, against the islam so we must be careful about our iman and about about our uh, <coughs> deeds and similarly so we must look after uh, and be care be careful about the halal and haram <clears throat> if something is haram we have to leave that one we have to look because in every uh, phone and every you know in internet you can go you can find the halal food guide and then you have to look the ingredients which are halal and uh, you when you buy something you can see the ingredients if something is haram you leave that one but if something is halal you have to take it so no problem that is very important for your drinking and for your eating because if you eat haram things automatically eating or drinking haram your iman will go off from your body so that is very important to look after yourself when you are moving similarly like when you go to your school so when you go to your college university or to office or to uh, outside so you must be careful and uh, that uh, the people outside uh, you have to talk which is needed no need to talk uh, just which is not needful so that is very important and <clears throat> and the other thing is very important that if someone is uh, try to make a friendship with you be careful from that one because if you don't know about the person you don't uh, be free from that person say sorry and then do your own job that is very important because you have to uh, you have to deal the people like according to the need if you need then you talk with them if you need no need then be be busy with your own 
like be busy with the mentioning of Allah's zikr or reading Holy Quran or reading uh, some Allah's name or, or busy, busy with your own educational book or something like that. So that is very important also because don't stare on the people also because staring on the people is, on, on, is not lawful, is bad. In, according to Islam is also is, is not allowed. So you have to look at your own things, not to look the people again and again, staring them again. So that is unlawful and that will that may create a problem for you also. Similarly, like when you look a person, any person, you smile to the person, but is if the, if the person is hating you or making the face or bad, then ignore the person, don't look again and then do your own job <clears throat> similarly when you are in your class in your school in any place if you have something that is extra from you you have to if other person need then you can offer that one no problem use it but uh, after using that person will give you back is good <coughs> this way sharing is good no problem so <clears throat> but don't share the things which are haram and which are unlawful according to our religion so this way you try to uh, understand islam completely then ha have to work uh, under the guidance of uh, the quran sunnah and sharia you must understand and read every day at least one ayat completely uh, full understanding uh, like with the translation and explanation and also read at least one hadith or the sayings of Prophet Sallallahu about akhlaq, about character, about manners, about the ways of life, how to spend our life in a better way to be a good Muslim. So we must understand and then we have to do it. And every day uh, you don't forget to pray five times Salah. That is compulsory for you and uh, then uh, at the time of in the morning time so when you get up you have to pray salatul fajr and then you have to recite holy quran at least one page uh, or more than that as much time you have and then try to understand holy quran also and try to learn some islamic things if you want to know more if or the otherwise um, uh, otherwise one page is enough so then you have to do your own job like uh, what what type of work you need then you have to go there but be careful that you are a muslim and you have to work and stay in this life under the boundary of islam and you must be peaceful for the muslims also and for the non-muslims also and you don't do anything which is bad for the muslim or for the non-muslims and because you have to if the other people they want to understand islam then you have to tell them nicely good way but if they they will they want to to understand more islam you if you know then tell them if you don't know then send them to the people who know islam more than you so that is very important also and uh, we have to look our religion if someone outside even in school and college university or outside if someone invite you to accept the other religion uh, other than islam then you have if you don't know about that one if the person is persuading you then you have to say sorry and uh, you just if they say something then you say i don't know about that and if you want to know because you have to uh, go to the islamic scholar or some person like that so because you if someone is persuading you if you don't know then say i don't know because so i'm muslim i don't know about that so that if this is the way the best way to say the person so that no disturbance so be careful in your ways of life and in your walk and talks so that is very important to stay peaceful nice not for your family not for the whole uh, society but for the whole world that is the important point allah give us tawfiq ameen